Welcome back to NCG Reptiles, and today we're going to talk about <laughs> temperature, temperature guns. guns. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Show them what it looks like. All right, that's what it is. Every reptile owner on the planet should have one of these babies, uh -huh. right? Please, you guys, if yeah. you're keeping reptiles, reptiles in general, uh -huh. this is what you want. They're important. They're very, 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 very important. Okay, let's go. Let's get into that in a minute. But who do we have special today? Powder. Powder. Okay, so we did a video on powder probably about what a year ago and he was only a few grams right yeah. you guys should see our other video we have a video we did an unboxing a year ago on this baby right here mm. oh, oh you guys saw it i don't want to keep it a kind of a secret no oh, oh okay all right so let's show you what a year old gecko looks like right mm -hmm. and then uh we're going to talk about why why uh these are important temperature guns are important we all know that uh a lot of ball python people mm -hmm. they use these a lot right uh -huh. this is kind of what's in their thing they're always checking stuff but here let's uh let's show you powder real quick all right so powder was a gecko that we bought a year ago yeah and the name is absolutely perfect you know why because it, she's i mean he's very um, white yes he's paper white yeah i mean there's a lot of lily whites we have a few lily whites here too but they all have like this yellow tint to them. But this guy is, is pure white. And we named them Powder before we even got them. Uh -huh. I didn't think it was going to be this white. Uh, but this gecko is absolutely amazing white. white gecko. Look at this gecko. And we are going to plug them into one of our projects. Uh -huh. And I'm going to show you the female that I'm going to mm -hmm. plug them into in our next video. Mm -hmm. Not this video. This video is just, we're going to just talk about how cool this guy is. And temperature guns. And his, uh, yep, his, uh, he's, he's got a really calm demeanor. He's really cool. Uh -huh. He's still, uh, you can see his crests are starting to, his head is starting to kind of fill out now. Mm -hmm. It's looking really good too. All right. And he has this amazing, if you guys look at our, um, at our, at our, uh, what, our YouTube shorts. Uh -huh. He has this amazing like underneath his chin it's called blushing oh look he looked up for us that's amazing it's not fired up right now <laughs> called blushing and he looked up so that blushing is pretty amazing i had some uh people uh message me about that and asked them about that uh trait uh i really don't know much about it uh if anybody knows about that if that passes on or um i'm thinking that possibly you have to have some kind of red in mm -hmm. in your in, in the gecko's uh, lineage. There it is again, look at that. So Potter has this amazing, it's not fired up. It, I mean, it fires up like red, red. Yeah. Uh, but his parents were uh, uh, a tricolor, mm -hmm. dark tricolor. Oh no, not this one. No, this one was, I'm sorry, that was the other lily. So this guy was a phantom. So he's hat for phantom. This was a, a, a phantom gray uh, colored uh, parenting with the lily white. That's yeah, how we got this one. So I don't know where you got the red from. So this, maybe down the lane of the shimmer, but that's pretty cool. This one's not gray though. It's really, really white. No, yeah, yeah. It's uh, The contrast is amazing. So he's got like super black. Mm -hmm. um, Some black spots. Super down. red, blushing, and paper white. This guy is just amazing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Enough of this. Now yeah, let's talk let's about, about the, <laughs> let's talk about the, the, the temperature gauge. All right, guys. So... Everybody says, this is what everybody says. Uh, uh, do you know what the, possibly what the temperature ranges for crested geckos are? Uh, 70, 80, 90, 80 degrees. Yes, roughly about 70, 80 degrees, guys. That is like the highs and lows. It can go beyond 80 and it could go below 70. Mm -hmm. There's other factors behind it, how you can get your gecko to get beyond those temperatures, but let's keep it in a safe range. Okay, so mm -hmm. safe range, 70, 80 degrees. Ideally, you want like right in the middle, let's say yeah. 75 degrees, that, uh, give or take a degree. So for these guys, okay? And your gecko is gonna be happy. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem I have with, if you're happy, if you're comfortable, everybody else is gonna be comfortable. That's mm -hmm. what you hear everybody saying. If you're comfortable, so sometimes Angelina, right? Like, will you be cold and I'll be hot in a room at the same time? 
right? Well, these little guys can't take their ca they can't take their cages with them and move around the house. They can't be like, oh, I'm cold, I'm hot, and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go over there, right? Like, like these guys are stuck wherever you put them, and so that's kind of a scary thought if you tell people, well, if you're comfortable, I'm comfortable. Well, what if you're comfortable in the bathroom, right? Like, <laughs> if it's if your heater goes straight from your your furnace to your bathroom first and it's hot in there, you're gonna feel comfortable, right? But then if it goes uh, throughout the house your bedrooms are probably cold because they're the farthest away from the, the heater in the house, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, like in our house our vents Heat the bathroom first it's nice and warm and then it goes mm -hmm. to the rest of the house and the, and the rooms are cold and then being in the Midwest Everybody knows okay, so our geckos used to be upstairs, right? And now they're downstairs yeah. Yeah. Upstairs is what 10 degrees probably warmer than it is downstairs. So my point is the point of the, the matter is you want one of these, okay? So we right now we're in the gecko room, right? Yeah. And in the gecko room, I have it insulated, right? Yeah. And I have a, a, a heater and I have mm -hmm. a, thermo, a separate thermostat for the room. Yeah. But check this out, guys. I'm going to show you something that even if you're comfortable, your geckos not, might not be comfortable, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to, and we're, what? springtime right uh -huh. so it's and it's the warm outside imagine when it's cold okay so i'm gonna hit the temperature on the floor well hold on sorry guys this is the floor temperature look at that well i'm, I'm 68 degrees okay that's 68 when i do on the floor all right here we go Let me see on, if the I can. Ceiling. on the ceiling Look at the difference in a temperature temperature controlled room. 79 degrees, 80 degrees, okay? Mm -hmm. now, now, let's see what it's like inside the tank, right? So I have a tank right here. Yeah, tank there. So what you can do is you can, sh you can hit the different areas. So this yeah. is the Florida tank. The Florida of this tank, yeah. look at it, it's 77, okay? 77. So this is all in a temperature related room. And the top of the tank temperature is only a degree difference. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's a change, 78 degrees, okay? So if you're putting your gecko in the house mm -hmm. and you got it uh, next to a window, okay? Mm -hmm. So we've, we've, we've had our geckos next to windows, right? And, and so you hit the, the window temperature and it's in the middle of winter, 48 degrees. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Like, it's 70 air temperature in your house, but you put your gecko next to a, uh, a 40 degree window, yeah. your gecko's gonna freeze even though you're comfortable. So don't just go by how you feel. Oh, I feel comfortable, my gecko's comfortable. No, get, get one of these, they're on Amazon. They're cheap, they start like mm -hmm. at some, they start like at like 11, 12 bucks. You can get a fancy one all the way up to like two something, 200 something dollars, but get a cheap one, doesn't matter, right? Like get one of these guns and then you can, Check the temperature of you know your your cage throughout the cage and throughout the year. So if your bedroom, if the if the room that you're in, let's say is facing uh, the the winter like the uh, outside outside wall of, of your of your building, yeah. that that wall may be 60 degrees yeah. in a in the middle of winter, right? Or or mm -hmm. less. It may be 58 degrees if it's an outside wall. Now if it's an inside wall, that wall will be uh, probably like like 70 degrees that would be a comfortable thing for for your gecko so it, very important very important what's very important you want to tell them what's important why is this important we just said it because uh, because it checks the temperature for you and other things like too cold, uh, the gecko will freeze, or else, if it's too hot, then the gecko will burn. Exactly. So since we're in the Midwest, we have to worry about everything. We have to worry about the walls mm -hmm. and the windows in the wintertime, and in in the summertime, it gets 100 degrees outside, yeah. and you got to worry about the um, uh, 100 degree temperatures. These guys mm -hmm. don't do well in hot. You know, you might be able to be, they might be able to get cold a little bit, but once it gets hot, that's too much. Mm -hmm. Like about ready to jump. I had to show you guys again what this looks like. So, important video. Get your go. Get you guys. Get yourself a temperature gun. Yeah. Uh, and check it out throughout the year. Yeah. I mean, I'm crazy. Sometimes I check it like once a week just to see where mm -hmm. we're at. I literally had to cover a window 
in the gecko room because the the window was 38 degrees so i ended up covering it i don't use the room other than geckos so i think the geckos are going to appreciate me covering it but i'm not going to cover the rest of the house windows right because we need sunshine and everything for our house for everybody but down here it's it's okay down here yeah and it's always the difference on each side yeah so some of these um yeah you made a good point you made you reminded me if you hold down the button yeah. on, on this you can see the temperature actually change throughout right so yeah. so as it's, as i'm panning with the button down it's telling me the different temperatures at one time yeah. but you don't need to do that you can just hit it hold it for a second and then let go and it'll give you the exact temperature see we're at 77 degrees and i'll hit the floor again so you guys know so i'm probably not going to be putting this gecko on the floor right you don't want to put your gecko on the floor 67 degrees and that's a temperature controlled room these guys but here's powder that is a little movie today. All right, he's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. One year old gecko, one year. powder. And it's just over a year, actually. Yeah. I mean, one year since we did the video, right? And this is our little guy, powder. Little, little powder. Little powder growing. So nice gecko. So there's other videos I'm gonna make for you guys. Yeah. Um, just wanted to uh, kind of touch on something that's gonna be very valuable. If you love your geckos, mm -hmm. we all love our geckos. Oh. oh, he's jumping on the camera. <laughs> he wanted to go say hi to you guys. <laughs> he's trying to go through the TV. You can't go through the TV, little guy. <laughs> All right. All right, so let us know uh, if you guys got any video ideas. I try to think outside the box. Everybody did a lot of videos on, you know, we try not to reinvent the wheel all the time. This yeah. is kind of reinventing the wheel, but a lot of gecko people don't use this because their, their tanks don't need uh, 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 heat pads or mm -hmm. lighting or anything. And everybody thinks, I'll just put my gecko in the cage and it'll be fine. No, it's not, no. guys. Check your temperatures, even though you don't need a heat source for this, guys. And you don't need really need any kind of lighting for this, guy. But you do need to check. And those little uh, strips that you put on your tanks to see what the temperatures are, that's just the gradient, guys. That's not going to give you exact... Um, Get something that you know exactly what's going on with your gecko. And, and uh, yeah. if it's the slack temperature that the gecko needs to be in, you still need to check because you don't know what temperature it is. And yeah. it will, like we said, it will be too hot or too cold. Yeah. And yeah. It, it helps with their feeding responses. Yeah. You know, you want to know if your gecko's eating or not. You know, want to know if your gecko's growing or not. Who knows? You might have it in a room where it's too cold mm -hmm. or it's too stressed out, it's too hot. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just want to... All right. Uh, I think that's good. I think we got a point across, yeah. right, guys? If you guys uh, ever see any kind of gecko on my Instagram mm -hmm. or any... Uh, geckos you've seen on this on these videos before mm -hmm. if you're interested in any kind of pairings that I might have for you guys Or if you're interested of, of knowing a little bit more about that gecko that I got or you just want to see something live uh -huh. All my pictures on Instagram and everything. Those are not modified pictures guys. That's what my geckos look like I don't mm -hmm. put filters. So if you want to see anything uh, on video or in a video it's just as spectacular as it is on my pictures. See, look at this guy. No, no video editing. I don't even know how to edit <laughs> colors on a, on a video. This is straight from the camera. So this is what, what you see is what you get, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much. For Thank you. Watching SCG Reptiles. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for watching SCG Reptiles. Did you want to tell anybody anything? Like and subscribe. And smash that like button. Smash that like button, guys. <laughs> we love being here. We love showing you our geckos. Uh -huh. We love everything about this, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Over and out. Bye.